it's good to see you back on my channel. Today I'm going to show you a full body stretch to improve mobility and flexibility. Starting to stretch my shoulders. Extend one hand down the center of your back, fingers pointing downward. Use the other hand to grasp the elbow. This next exercise is very good for the spine. Round your back and reach forward with your arms. Then pull your arms back so your shoulder blades are connected. I call it waves for the spine. In a standing position, feet shoulder width apart. Put your hands together behind you in a closed position. Do squatting with your back straight. Then slowly rise up with your back round. Do 10 squats. Great! Now let's stay in the two to foot position. Lock your hands behind you and try to pull your arms back as far as you can. Now reach for one leg, then the other. Don't forget to breathe. It should be calm. Try to put your elbows on the ground. You can bend your knees. Change position. Turn one leg to the side and bend towards the leg. You can put one head on the foot if you possible. Or you can't put it on the knee and the other hand reaches up. This position perfectly stretches the leg and back. We have stretched our legs and back well, so now we need to rest a bit. For example, do child pose and lie in it for 15 seconds. Next position is Pigeon Pose. This pose specifically works as a hip opener and forward bend, stretching your thighs, crown, back, piriformis and PCOS. The leg extending to the rear gets a stretch of the PCOS and the other hip flexors. On the other side, the rotators and outer hip are stretched. It's a good antidote to sitting for long periods. After the pigeon pose, you have to make a downward dog pose.
Okay, next exercise, kneeling conductor stretch. Start with your knees and hands on the floor. Strengthen out one leg to the side. Try to keep your leg on the floor. Rock your butt back to the heel of your bent knee. Feel the stretch on the inner side of your straight leg. Do the same with the second leg and stay in the pose for a few seconds. Most people think of squats in the context of workout or gym exercises. But it also beneficial yoga posture that you can add in your daily routine and yoga practice. This pose stretches the ankles, hips and lower back while turns the core and the lower body. It's also great for the digestion because it simulates the digestion system and apana. The downward energy in the body responsible for eliminating waste. Mentally holding the pose promotes a calm state of mind and focus. That was the last exercise. We will see you soon.